Alright guys, it's day 28 and today is a flexibility day for all levels. You see, because we are rearranging our week because of the testing on Sunday, we're actually all going to be doing flexibility today rather than level 1's having a rest. So all levels, you're going to be doing something today. There's going to be a bit of a full body feel to it as well because it's yoga moves. There's a lot of stuff to do, uh, a lot of muscles we're going to stretch and stuff like that. So not much more to say on that, so make sure you warm up really well, grab your water and let's get into the playlists. My level 1s start the playlist out with a light jog through beginnier. The intention is to get the body temperature up a bit, but not too much to assist with the flexibility exercises. Now we stand for our first two moves. Overhead side bend requires you to plant your feet and try not to move the hips when bending laterally. Next is the tree pose. Stand on the one leg and if you're able to, bring the raised foot up and place it on your thigh, as per tip's example. If you're unable to, place it lower on your leg or just keep it off the floor flamingo style. Now perform those side bends for the exercise. Place both feet on the ground again and separate them for the warrior one pose. A half lunge position and more side bends awaits. Again, try your best not to move your hips as you do these. Next is hinge pose where you hinge over at the hips, place a hand on the floor and go through lateral shoulder flexion. Keep your movement smooth and brace the core. Next is standing forward fold, another move with hip hinging except it's more dynamic. This movement should be generated through the core and hips, closing the angle between the core and your legs. Now get into warrior 2 pose for a lovely stretch at the chest and some small rotation from the shoulder and then your final move, get to the floor for the fan pose. If you're unable to get into the same position as tip, just go to within the range of motion you have, perform these side bends until you're through one round. Repeat one time through minimum and do no more than three rounds maximum. Relax and well done. My level 2 trainees start with the single leg balance move tree pose. If you're unable to bring the foot up all the way on the thigh, just place it as high as you can hold. Perform the side bends here well with steady breathing throughout before getting into chair pose. The isometric hold with the half squat will be tough after a while, but push through and control the arms steadily. The further out you hold them, the better the stretch will be. Next is revolved crescent lunge pose which lets us shift our legs and stretch the lats and back in general with the revolved movement. This is a good move to practice that steady slow breathing with. Now warrior one pose gets us bending to the side and stretching at the sides as well before we repeat revolved crescent lunge pose. Once we've performed that, we repeat tree pose again for more stability training for the feet. Flexibility means ease of mobility and stability is part of that. Hinge at the hips for the next two movements, hinge pose and standing forward fold. This mixes some static work and dynamic work on the hips, as well as some shoulder rotations and flexing as well. Amusingly, the static hinges with the dynamic shoulder and the dynamic hinges with the static shoulder. Anyway, perform warrior two pose for its excellent chest and adductor stretch before finishing strong with a seated fan pose. As usual, do the best you can with your legs and try to match tips form as best as possible within your range of motion. Repeat one time through minimum and do not do more than three rounds through maximum. Relax and well done. Alright my level 3s, your work here involves standing work at the start and end with a seated section midway. First make like a tree and lead with tree pose. The stability benefits on the ankles cannot be understated and helps with the mobility in general. Next get into a revolved crescent lunge pose which has some excellent stretches on the hips and back before performing the chair pose. This may hurt after a little bit as isometric exercises often do, but push through until the end. We'll rest the legs after those two with two seated movements. Fan pose comes first with a stretch on the legs owing to the positioning they're in. Be mindful of your range of motion and don't overextend. Then we have seated forward press. This one is an ab move but gives great stretch across the back and hamstrings. Again, be mindful of your range of motion. Next, get back up into the hinge pose which further stretches the hamstrings and thighs as well as a little bit of the glutes. The standing forward fold brings some dynamism into the stretching across the back before we work through our sides with warrior one pose. Try to stretch far, but don't overdo it naturally. Apparently some people can do nearly a 90 degree bend here and well that's not for me, but anyway get into the warrior two pose after that and point your feet in the direction you're facing for a good open hip and subsequent adductor stretch. Keep your breathing on point to rings direction to reap the benefits of the chest stretch here. Finally get back into tree pose to give a bit more stretch to the upper body as well as some additional stability training for the ankle. Well done, that's one round. Repeat one time through minimum and do not do more than three rounds maximum. Relax and well done guys.
Well, awesome. Thank you for persevering with the flexibility training. I know it can be a little bit boring, but it does have a lot of benefits as I explained last time. I recommend that you take a bit of time to do a nice static stretch to really, really pack on those benefits from the stretching, really pack on that flexibility training, and it will help activate the parasympathetic nervous system as well. Now, what is the parasympathetic nervous system? Glad you asked. Today's fit fact is the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. So the nervous system is essentially message sending kind of system. So it tells your brain what's going on with your body at any given time. And it sends messages from your organs, your cells, your, your muscles, blah, 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 blah. It, it's, it's a big system, it helps regulate your body, helps you keep everything in check, essentially. So one section of the nervous system is the autonomic nervous system. And essentially that helps unconsciously regulate smooth muscle, bodily function, that sort of stuff. There are three parts to this autonomic nervous system. The main two parts of that is the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. And as you can imagine, they kind of work opposite to each other. So the sympathetic nervous system is essentially responsible for the fight or flight kind of system in the body. So it will load the body with adrenaline and shunt blood to the organs, any particular area that needs it at that time to assist with survival. Okay, the parasympathetic nervous system, contrary to that, helps relax the body. It's sometimes called the rest and digest system because it really helps with the resting and digestive systems in your body. <laughs> you know, things like nutrient absorption, glucose breakdown, urinary, fecal, sexual function, stuff like that. Lots of, lots of different parts of it is included within the parasympathetic nervous system. Stretching kind of helps trigger the parasympathetic nervous system because it helps with blood flow, temperature being raised. It helps trigger, you know, when you stretch, it can trigger the Golgi tendon organ, which helps relax the body as well. So yeah, they're kind of all related there. The other part of it is the enteric nervous system, but that's not entirely necessary to talk about right now because that's mainly to do with the intestines, like gut function. So it's not specifically necessary to the exercise and stuff that we're talking about today. But yeah, pretty interesting. I know it's a little bit rambly. Hopefully it makes sense, but uh, I think I think it's pretty cool to know what that is anyway. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for your hard work with the flexibility training. I hope that it's been a nice relaxing day. We've got a nice core session tomorrow. I say nice. We've got a good core session tomorrow and then and yeah we've got a rest day and then it's time for the tests you're almost there guys you're almost there thank you so much for being here i'll see you tomorrow oh are you joking so i forgot to set up the mic <laughs> i forgot to set up the mic oh my god